Today we'll be discussing about how long an IVF cycle takes. Typically, any treatment in fertility follows the normal menstrual calendar. It starts on day two of a cycle when the patient comes in on the second day after they have started their periods. We usually do a scan to assess the ovarian reserve and to rule out any cysts or any residual follicles that could be there from a previous cycle. And then stimulation for the patient is started. What we mean by stimulation is the patient starts taking injections on a daily basis to grow out the eggs that are there in the ovaries. Usually we call the patient back by about day six to check what the response to the stimulation has been and to add additional injections if required. And this stimulation usually goes on for about 10 to 12 days in by which time the patient's eggs are ready. When we say ready, we expect them to be of a certain size at this point and uh, the last injection which is called the trigger which matures the eggs is given and usually 35 to 36 hours after the trigger the oocytes are retrieved. The oocyte retrieval process um, usually uh, is done under general anesthesia. Uh, the same probe that is used to scan the patient, the vaginal probe has a little needle attached to it and under anesthesia and under ultrasound guidance, we go to the ovaries and remove the eggs and these eggs are then uh, uh, injected with the sperm of the male or the partner and uh, embryos then we have to wait for five to six days for the embryos to form. So typically an IVF cycle takes about 10 to 14 days for us to retrieve the eggs and then another four to five day, five to six days for the embryos to be formed. If we are transferring the embryos in the same cycle, the embryo transfer is usually done on the sixth day after the ovum pickup, on the fifth day. And then if we are freezing the embryos, these are frozen and kept. And in a subsequent cycle, the patient comes back again on day two when we do the scan again, like I said, to rule out any cysts or residual follicles. The patient is then started on hormone replacement to prepare the endometrium. And usually about 16 to between 16 to 18 days after the hormone replacement is started and embryo transfer is done. However, for a patient to start an IVF cycle, we have to do, there are a lot of prerequisites and tests that we do earlier. So ideally, we prefer a patient coming in at least a month or two before we plan an IVF cycle when we do all the investigations which are required, which could be just blood tests, it could be a hysteroscopy, which is an examination of the inside of the uterus or the endometrium and prepare the patient so that when they come back to start an IVF cycle, all the baselines are taken care of are, are, and are normal before we actually start an IVF cycle. Thank you.